up, fam? I'm on my way to the VA clinic. To see if they can uh, tell me what's going on with these headaches and these migraines. Evidently, it's uh, not normal to get headaches every day. So we're going to take an MRI. My brain. See what's going on. In one mile, turn left. Uh, if you know my family's history, we don't last long. We don't, we don't, uh, 50 is a milestone and 47 now. So I want to do everything in my power to be here for a while. It's a lot I haven't done. It's a lot I haven't seen, uh, especially with my children and grandchildren. So self-care is a must. You got to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. That's real talk. OG out. Leaving the VA. MRI done. Tuesday or Wednesday they'll let me know. Hopefully everything is okay and it's just uh, caffeine depletion. It's my hope. Or I should say caffeine withdrawals. But If ever I needed a message. <sighs> Scary man. So they put me in a wheelchair, wheeled me out to it's a truck in the back with an elevator. MRI booth is in the truck. And it was a 20 minute test. It took them a little bit longer because they said uh, I moved a little bit. They don't know if I jumped because I dozed off. Something was crawling on my face. I don't know what it was. I don't know if my hair got into my face or something, but I felt like something was moving on me. So I moved and it restarted the test, but. We'll see what they say. Hopefully all is well, and hopefully uh, if it is something going on up in here, then it's easy to fix. I'll let y'all know. So, update on the car. We still haven't figured out why it's throwing a code for crankshaft position sensor. Uh, we did verify that the uh, crankshaft position sensor doesn't run off the flywheel. So, changing the flywheel and the clutch shouldn't have triggered the code. Uh, I think the code was there since the last dyno day. Maybe ran a little too hard. But as long as the car doesn't go into limp mode, and it, it should be okay to drive. And they both drove the car um, 20, 30 minutes for a different um, amount of shifting up and down hill, up and down the city. Uh, he said he went to McDonald's and back. He didn't get on it because you got to give the clutch a little bit of time to, uh, you know, mate with the, with the new flywheel. So they didn't really get on it, which is good, you know. Some people get in your car and they drive it like they stole it. They shouldn't do that. It's, it's your car. It's your baby. Uh, they recommend 1,000 to 1,500 miles casual driving with the clutch so no drag racing for a while which is fine. I don't plan on doing it with that car. But just to make sure everything works right, just give it some time to settle in. It's a dual clutch so basically two clutches in one. So we gotta let those mate and also the flywheel um, just to ease them in, get the grooves right. 
then once that's good, I think I'll be good to get on it if I ever need to get on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the man and try to get the car back. He's out of town right now. He's on the way back from Birmingham. That's an hour and a half away. Since I only live 10, 15 minutes away, I'm going to go back to the house and wait on him. Come back up here, pay my bill. Um, probably see if I can get him to drop the car off to me tonight or tomorrow. Or bring the trailer up here to get the car. Either way, the car should be back home in the garage sometime this weekend. So next weekend, should see more action with the car. Finally start hitting up some car shows and car meets in the area. For some reason, all the car meets I did have been hours away from where I live. So we got to hit up the local stuff, get my name out there, let people know who I am. Uh, still going to do the E85. Still going to do it. So I'm going to order fuel injector clinic. Fuel injectors probably next week when I get paid. Put the car back in the shop. Should only take a day or two uh, to install the injectors and tune it. Buy me a 55 gallon drum at E85 and have a gas station basically at the house for $600 or less. A uh, 55 gallon should last me a while. So that's the plan. In and out of the shop trying to get right. So wish me luck. Hopefully the car will be back in the garage and the next time you see a video.